Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges, and one of the most fascinating parts of the Christmas story is that the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn and put to rest in a feeding trough. I think God was trying to make a point. Today, a friend of mine drove all the way across town to bring me something I desperately needed after my surgery. And I listened to her tell of her day. And her day was so different than my typical structured, planned out days. And she was able to minister to people and be where God had her. And I thought of Jesus' typical days. In Matthew chapter 8, it talks about one of his weeks. He was up on a mountain. He was telling people about how amazing God is. He comes down from the mountain. He heals the centurion servant. He goes to Peter's house. He heals Peter's mother-in-law. He gets on a boat. He calms the water. He gets on the other shore. He delivers someone from demons. Everywhere Jesus went, stuff happened. And one of the teachers of the law noticed this. And he said, teacher to Jesus, I will follow you anywhere. Because he could tell. Everywhere Jesus was, God was in action. And Jesus said, you know, foxes have dens and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Now, Jesus chose this life. He was raised by a carpenter. He had carpentry skills. He could have built himself a nice little house, stayed in a nice little village, expected the world to come to him, but he knew that he was here for more than that. And he went wherever God took him and ministered to whoever God brought him. And thousands of years later, we are still being saved because of him and challenged. This week, I challenge you to loosen up your schedule a little bit and be available for whatever God brings into your day. God bless you.